Meghan Markle may be keen to resurrect her lifestyle website The Tig, but there is one a lister who has long been queen of the wellness space. Founded in 2008 by Hollywood actress Gwyneth Paltrow, Goop is now thought to be worth £200 million, with a newsletter counting 8 million followers. Apparently inspired by Goop, Duchess of Sussex originally launched her own site, which she called a passion project, in 2014. It featured tips on food, wellness, fashion, travel, fashion, the arts, design, and conscious living. However, she shut the website down in 2017 when she announced her relationship with Prince Harry. Insiders have said Meghan hopes to rival Gwyneth's mega-successful site, which plies a lucrative trade in new-age wellness luxuries, such as vagina-scented candles. Here FEMAIL looks at how a potential 2023 TIG and its rival compare when it comes to the philosophy behind the brand, the products and experiences they recommend and their founder's marketability. Emily M. Austin, who runs the PR agency Emerge, said Gwyneth has created a business out of wellness content on Goop. She told FEMAIL, she has also brought more niche practices to the forefront, such as Vim Hof, the Dutch motivational speaker and extreme athlete that got everyone into cold swimming in 2022. And Goop has also focused more on physical bodily treatments, such as cold water swimming, breathing, cupping, fasting, laterally highlighting the impacts on our mental health, Emily added. Among the unusual wellness practices Gwyneth has recommended online include her regular trips to the sauna, praising the relaxation and health benefits of the steam room. Elsewhere, she advised walking barefoot, which Goop discloses, connects with the energy of planet Earth. It is healthy for our souls and bodies. It adds, several people in our community, including Gwyneth, swear by earthing, also called grounding, for everything from inflammation and arthritis to insomnia and depression. But you must do your earthing outside. Indoors, you'll be insulated from the Earth's electric potential. In 2017, the website was also slammed by health professionals and doctors for promoting dangerous practices. Dr. Jen Gunter, gynecologist and goob debunker, called it a megaphone for pseudoscience at the time. It's pushing therapies, invented long before the microscope, she added, noting everyone on Goop seems to be selling something.